Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Excel to work with your matrices. We are going to have this 3x3 three three matrix and we're going to start by calculating the determinant of the matrix. The determinant is going to be just one number, so I'm clicking on one cell equals and the function that I'm going to use is called M for matrix determ for determinant. Then I'm going to highlight the matrix, close the bracket, press enter and that is my value, minus 20. Now I'm going to calculate the inverse as the determinant is not equal to 0. There is going to be a 3x3 three three matrix that is the inverse of this 3x3 three three matrix that we started with. To calculate the inverse in Excel we need to highlight the area where the result is going to appear. Where we calculate it and we type in equals and the function we're using is called M for matrix inverse. So M inverse, open bracket, we highlight the matrix that we want to calculate the inverse for. This matrix here, we close the bracket and now we need to press not enter but control shift while we have those pressed down we press enter. And that is going to fill in all the cells within that range. If you see my formula now has some curly brackets that means that you can't, I'm going to click on that cell and try to delete it, you can't delete one element, the whole matrix has to be deleted completely if you want to delete any of the elements. Now we're going to have a look at how to multiply two matrices and the same principle as calculating the inverse applies. That means that we need to highlight the area where the result is going to appear. In this case, if we multiply a 3x3 three three matrix times a 3x3 three three matrix, the result is going to be a 3x3 three three matrix, but we need to know that in advance and highlight the area. Then we type in equals M for matrix again, MULT for multiplication, open bracket, and we highlight one array, well, the first matrix, comma, the second matrix close the bracket and then again remember control shift you press them down and then enter and this is the identity matrix we get one one and one in the diagonal zeros for these values here and these values here are zero effectively they're so small that are equivalent to zero now if we change this five into a one we can see that when the determinant is equal to zero, there's no inverse and Excel is telling us by telling us not a number. Okay, and you can see here why that is happening. The reason why that is happening is because this row and this row are exactly the same ones. So there's no inverse for that matrix. If I bring it back to five, then we have our inverse and our multiplication giving us the identity matrix.